back to Nader's Nemesis 2.0. This is video number 14, and I uh, wanted to share with you that the uh, uh, big news on this video is that the Corvair is on the road, and uh, I've been uh, driving it around, and I wanted to take time now to uh, fill you in on the project as it stands and uh, what I've been experiencing while I've been driving it around. I've driven the car about 480 miles so far. The uh, fuel injection system is a Holley Dominator, and uh, I must say that uh, it's been a pretty easy system to configure. I've got it uh, uh, set up, and it's working quite well. The uh, Learn feature has been very helpful in uh, accelerating the tuning process. And I've got the car to where it idles very well. It goes up through the gears very well. The tune up through all the range that I've been able to, to experience with the car has gone quite well and very happy with it. While I've driven it, the engine, ha the engine coolant temperature has stayed uh, very uh, low and uh, been very happy with that. That's always been a concern of mine, uh, making sure that the cooling system is designed properly. However, I will say, though, the warmest day that I had driving around was about 70 degrees, so it's not really been tested yet. So we'll, we'll know uh, uh, later this year how that, how that will work for sure. But so far, early indications are that's going to work well. The uh, engine and drivetrain noise inside the car uh, was a little more than I really liked, and uh, so I spent some extra time uh, getting additional insulation for the engine bay cover and I've got that installed and that has made a big difference. Now um, the uh, inside of the car is uh, more normal. It's not a quiet car uh, by any means uh, with a, an LS7 sitting right behind you but um, it's, a, it's a car that's uh, comfortable to drive from a sound standpoint. Uh, the interior temperature um, is very comfortable. The jet hot 2K Extreme system that was applied to the headers has really helped control the heat in the engine bay area. Uh, so I'm very happy with that, and um, um, the uh, the system looks good, and and um, I really appreciate the recommendations that I got from Jet Hot on that. Most of the driving, as I mentioned, has been uh, two lane uh, roads, and uh, but I have tested some of the performance on entrance ramps to uh, expressways, and I have to say that the car is very quick and it's very nimble. And uh, I think uh, it's going to be a lot of fun to drive uh, when I start to push it a little bit more. Uh, I will also say that the car is somewhat of a throwback to the 60s muscle car era. Uh, because it has manual brakes and no power steering. So it sort of reminds me of driving my uh, 69 Camaro back in the day. And um, But this time it, the engine's sitting more on the rear tires than it is on the front tires, so it's a little easier to steer. But so far, um, I've uh, been very pleased with how the car has worked. Uh, I have had um, several... Uh, rattles and, and things that uh, happen when you put something together. So I've been working uh, to eliminate those rattles and uh, to tighten things up and, and all that um, part that goes with building a new car. Um, so more of that will happen as time goes on. And uh, But so far, I've uh, been really happy with it. I spent a lot of time thinking through what I'd like to have in the lighting package in this car and picked a lot of uh, components that um, I thought would, would enhance the look of the car, uh, both interior-wise and exterior-wise. Um, as you um, look at the interior, I, I added things that uh, would try to make this car a little more modern, such as additional lights when, along with the dome light that would come on when the doors open. A lot of LED, the uh, gauge lighting, um, comes through nice and bright. Um, the headlights, as I've shown before, uh, have a lot of nice look to them. And then I took advantage of the turn signals and turned them into fog lights. Um, so, so far, I like the way the lighting looks and um, um, it stands, uh, it goes well with the car scheme and, and everything else. So um, it was a, a nice ad.
Over the next few months, I uh, plan to do more driving of the car, um, taking longer excursions, um, you know, putting putting um, putting it through more uh, tests, uh, both uh, distance-wise and performance-wise. And as I do that, I'll uh, be sure to let you know how things work with that and what I'm finding out, and and I'll share that with you with upcoming videos. One of the other things that I plan to do on a future video, uh, not too far in the future, but uh, I've been keeping track of time I spent, um, various consumption of things um, uh, that I want to uh, kind of lay out for you, uh, probably some curiosity. I know I, I had curiosity before I started like, what the effort was going to take to do this. And then I, I also have um, a bunch of specs about the car that I'm going to put into the video um, so that you all can see what uh, I had to do or what the car looks like, feels like, what the weight is, those kinds of things. So uh, stay tuned for uh, some more videos about that. And, uh, and um, thank you for uh, going along with this journey. It's not quite done yet. I've got a lot more tweaking and tuning to do. And, uh, and especially I have a lot more driving to do, which is the whole objective of doing this, this car. So thanks again for following along.